Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tracy and I do all things keto and some not keto things as well. So I got tagged in the 2019 Reflections thing with the questions and I was tagged by the beautiful Leslie at Keto Odyssey. I'll link her channel down below so you can go check her out if you haven't already and I'll get started with the questions. Okay, so the first question is, what is the one thing you did in 2019 that you're the most proud of? You didn't tell me this is going to be so hard. Um, I guess I have to say that I stopped taking depression medication. I was taking a prescription depression medicine for, I don't know how long, I'm going to say at least three or four years maybe and this year was the year that I told my doctor I think that I'm ready to stop taking it and see how that goes and so I did and I've been fine I still have some anxiety issues but the depression is gone so whether it be from the keto I don't know but it's better and I don't need that medicine anymore. So as of right now, I don't take any medications every day, which to me is a big deal. Okay, the second one is, what is the most fun event or vacation from 2019? Oh, we did a lot of traveling this year. And I think though, I would have to say the most fun trip was when we went to Orlando. And we went to Disney World and SeaWorld, and it was my girl's first time going to SeaWorld, and it was Emily's first time at Disney World. And we had so much fun. I gotta say, though, they liked SeaWorld better than Disney World, and if they had to pick one to go back to, they'd probably pick SeaWorld. I think they had more fun there with all the fun water rides and they like sitting in the splash zone and getting all soaking wet from the whales and stuff like that when they were splashing so that was probably the most fun even though we went and it was like a hundred degrees literally but it was so fun and I think we'll probably be having to go back to SeaWorld sometime maybe in the next year or so the third one, what is the one thing you learned in 2019? Um, I would have to say that I learned that some people that you might think are your friends, they may not really be your friends. And I think I learned that kind of the hard way, actually, and really in a hurtful way. But it's okay. I moved on. Okay, the next one is name one thing you do better now than you did last year. And I gotta say, it would probably have to be going up and down stairs and things like that. I can get around a lot better because I did have knee problems. And if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I was supposed to have surgery. And I seem to have avoided that or at least put it off for a while from just losing weight. So I can definitely get around better. I can run up and down steps and do all the things now that I had a hard time with before. Are you setting a New Year's resolution? If so, what is it? My eyes got watery all of a sudden. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I probably will have a New Year's resolution or two, but I'm not definitely for sure yet. Probably will be something to do with my health and probably something to do with my business and finances and things like that. But when I get it all figured out, maybe I'll do a video on it and tell everybody what my New Year's resolutions are. We'll see. Next one, do you have any events or vacations planned for 2020? Well, we are currently looking at places to go for our main vacation which will be in the summer and we don't have anything 
like definite picked out yet or anything so we're not sure but we're already looking because I know a lot of that stuff gets booked up quick Verse seven name one thing you hope to happen in 2020 I really do not know um, the first thing that comes to mind is I'd love to grow my YouTube channel and see where that goes and other than that i'm not really sure other than growing my business even more and ex maybe expand into some other things but we'll have to see okay the last one is where do you see yourself this time next year well i hope to be kind of in the same place i am now right now i'm currently at the beach we're taking a little quick trip while the kids were out of school and my husband was off work and we're just enjoying ourselves and we've got a lot of things just going our way and just everything's going well and I can't really complain so hopefully it'll be something like this year so that was the questions for the reflections tag man those were kind of hard Leslie but anyways I'm gonna tag a couple of people. I think I'm gonna tag Aretha at Seattle Sapphire and also Angie at Brown Girl Life. And also, how about Tony Damien? I'll put their channels linked down below so you can go check them out. If you're subscribed to me and you're watching this video, you're probably already subscribed to them because they have great channels. Which, by the way, YouTube is doing some really weird stuff. So, check to make sure that you are still subscribed to my channel. Because they're taking away a lot of my subscribers. And I've also noticed a lot of my people that I've been subscribed to for a very long time. It's showing that I'm not subscribed to them for some reason. So, go check your stuff out and make sure you're still subscribed to all the people you want to be subscribed to. So, anyways... Thank you for watching this video. I know it was a long one, and I usually don't do videos this long. But anyways, I will see you on the next one soon. Bye, guys.